Hey everybody and welcome to the latest edition of Officiating on the Big Screen, our continuing saga of taking a look at how umpires are portrayed in movies, television, commercials, and all sorts of stuff. In this edition, we look at one of the best movies of all time, snubbed in my opinion at the Academy Awards, should have won multiple Oscars, best cinematography you'll ever see, Major League. Major League is our movie this week, and it is fantastic. You'll never guess how it ends. Well, you'll probably guess how it ends pretty quickly, but it's neither here nor there. I'd like to thank our partner, Out West Officials, for sponsoring all our clips, so let's get to it. A little background here. This is We're going to take a look at some spring training videos to start, and you'll notice from these videos that, uh, well, it was definitely spring training for whoever was dressing the umpires. In this first clip, well... The umpire could be locked in. He's got his hand behind his back. He looks like he's got base pants on and maybe he's got black sneakers or certainly not plate shoes. And that ball bag is positioned all sorts of off. And this next plate umpire looks pretty solid on the initial setup on this wild pitch. And then it looked like we kind of saw a backwards hat there. And I'm not sure why he's screaming out safe on a on a play, but a lot of that stuff is voiceover stuff that's done that's done in post-production. This exhibition game is between the Anaheim Angels and the Anaheim Angels. And this third clip here, this little montage, is a swinging strike that, that I kind of like that swinging strike call, but, you know, it's not might not be everybody's cup of tea. Okay, this is not the position you want to be in for a play at the plate. Uh, you definitely don't want to be hands on knees set. You definitely don't want to have your hat backwards. And you probably don't want to wear that ever. Another problem, and this is a serious one, is take a look at that still shot of the chest protector. Like, that's things down to here, man. You're just... He and what is the first base umpire doing? What is that guy doing? He's just kind of standing there and the first baseman's just like, okay, you could tell that such a posed, that that guy ran like 15 feet, such a posed picture. What a story after 30 years in the International League managing the Toledo Mudhens, got a chance to manage in the big leagues with this bunch of misfits. You know you're in trouble when the first scene up north in Cleveland or Milwaukee where they taped this, the umpires are standing on the dirt before the first pitch, and then as soon as the home team takes the field, they immediately run to their positions. I guess they're going to really umpire those warm-up plays as hard as they can. But believe it or not, as we see here, this actually gets a lot better. So we had this play where... Uh, wait, wait a minute. Did I just... This was the first pitch of the game, and, you know, the first base umpire does a... Nice kind of mechanic, and it doesn't look all that bad. But can I get a still shot of that first pitch again? Yeah. I thought I saw the second base umpire straddling second base. Uh, don't do that. This is this is pretty well done. You know, the umpire is calls a pitch. Wait, wait a minute. Can, can we take another look at that pickoff? Because I, I, I'm just kind of confused... I, so he's in good position there, and then he disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, the umpire vanished. Oh, he's over there. He's in fair territory again, shot for the movies. That camera where they go to replay and they say, oh, there was an umpire standing there. We couldn't get a good view. Well, in the movies, they move the umpire. Now we see Ricky Vaughn is really struggling in his first appearance. It's it's a, another good story of a of a multitude of of great tales of this Cleveland team, and uh, he's walking a lot of guys. I'm not sure why you'd want to work from a knee um, if the and this is kind of a lot of guys work from a knee. But if the guy's throwing a lot of pitches in the dirt, you you don't want to be on a knee. You're going to be in bad shape. You're going to get a lot of bruises and. And then, you know, this is a good opportunity to try to figure out some situational handling. I like this umpire's moxie, you know. it's uh, I, I agree. Throw him out of the game. Don't issue warnings. He threw at him intentionally. You get him. Yeah, that a, that a, that a boy. Way to, way to take control of the game in a true National League style. Oh, these are American League, even though they were in a National League ballpark now but it was an American League ballpark at the time see this whole looking at Milwaukee stuff always confuses me when I see this movie so this play this 
convergence between the home plate umpire and the first base umpire. It's like a few seconds, but it's my favorite play of the movie. The umpire opens the gate. The first base umpire comes for help in case, you know, he has a better look at it on that foul ball. It's as good as it gets. Continuing on, it's a little throwaway play. Here's a scissor stance, solid little play. The timing's a little too quick at second, but, you know, it, it's, it's just... There's a lot of good umpiring in here, and it just kind of gets, it, it doesn't really get highlighted because we always focus on all the, the stuff that brings our attention. And, you know, I love the swinging strike mechanics. That voice is probably put in in post-production. Too much made for the movies right there. Uh, they had a consultant, Steve Yeager, who's actually in the movie. Um, and he should have been, uh, they should have had an umpire consultant as well because there's, there's a little bit missing. And this play, uh, I love the mechanic. Whack! Like, I mean, my goodness, that is the mechanic. I forget the positioning. I, I mean, it actually looked like it was real umpiring most of that highlight reel there. So now we go to the culmination of it all, that final game, that play-in game between the Yankees and Cleveland. Because remember, Cleveland's in the American League East at the time. And who's going to go and win the division? And let's look. Oh, this guy. This plate umpire takes me out of the movie. Digging in, down a strike, curveball, Whoa, almost fell over. Now, uh, uh, umpire moving, taking off his mask with his right hand, bringing his hat with it. He's beat, but he's spectacled. What a play by Dorn, huh? And then, you know, every string strike is ooh, 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 ooh. Somebody told this guy to overact. So home run, we get this home run in slow motion. And what a rotation. So the rotation and... But the plate umpire, lazy. Home plate umpire, there he is right there. He's like 60 feet from third base, 30 feet, 40 feet. And the other guy, the first base umpire, stand at point of plate. He's standing point of plate. Fantastic. Oh, I get this little trickler. I love the mechanic from the first base umpire. Might have been a little too close. Pretty good positioning on the pickoff. If he was in a little better position, he wouldn't have to move like that. But that's where they wanted. But that's pretty good instincts, all things considered. You know, this another one. There's runner going here. What's another really solid scene? For some reason, this plate umpire isn't looking at the potential interference. Freeze it for a second. Let's go back to that. You have potential interference, and the plate umpire is like, I'm going to give the biggest swing strike mechanic of my life on this play. And meanwhile, pretty good mechanic from our second base umpire in this play. That was the same guy who worked the plate earlier and had some good stuff going on. And what do you know? We got to steal a third base. And... A bunt! Plate umpire once again taking the mask off with the right hand. First base umpire getting into position. Now the plate umpire has his mask back on. Not really sure how that worked. Pretty soon we'll see some more sleight of hand. We get the play at first base. Umpire's taken in Lance Barksdale, Joe West position. Which if he get it right, get it right. And we'll say if he's, he gets it right. Now the plate umpire has his mask back on. The first base umpire is going to signal like 30 times. All of a sudden, wait, wait a minute. The plate umpire has his hat off now. It's on. But luckily, he gets this scene here. And you know, this guy waited for that scene for like his whole career. Like safe, safe. He probably sold it 15 times. Now, if there was a time to sell a safe call, that would be it. But you'll find something interesting in this movie that they're always selling safe calls or out calls. Everything's got to be a little bit more dramatic. Well... Overall, if I had to grade this movie from an umpiring standpoint, I'd give it a C. There's better out there, but there's also a lot worse. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Close Call Sports at the Movies or whatever we're calling it. Until next time, happy umpiring, everyone. <laughs>